Don't you just love the aroma of fresh herbs? Sir, please, don't snip the herbs. I'm sorry. Thank you. I love dill. It smells like summer, doesn't it? And it's not just for making pickles and salmon recipes. Dill has a long history of therapeutic uses. The ancient Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks all knew about dill. It's been a home remedy to cure insomnia, to soothe touchy stomachs, and prevent nausea, bloating, and digestive symptoms. But that's just the beginning. Dill contains an essential oil, eugenol, that can act as a local anesthetic and antiseptic, and can prevent bacterial growth. That's probably why Hippocrates, the father of medicine, used it for cleaning and disinfecting the mouth. Dill is rich in fiber, iron, and calcium, which can help fight osteoporosis along with vitamin D3. Whenever possible, use fresh dill. Look for vibrant green sprigs and firm stems. Both its leaves and dill seeds can be used to add a fragrant bouquet and tangy, lemony subtlety to my Easy Chef MD approved borscht, a traditional beet soup brimming with blood pressure lowering power and dilly flavor. Today I'm cooking up a classic Eastern European favorite, borscht, which is an easy beet soup that's hearty and of course features beets, which have one of the highest sugar content of all vegetables, but are very low in calories. And it starts with a little bit of olive oil and onion in the bottom of a saucepan. This is going to form the base of our soup. And while that's working, you want to cut beet slices so that they fit on a spoon for this soup. I'm just going to cut a couple of more cubes and add them to the ones that I've already done. Add beet juice, which you don't usually see and you have to look for specially. But beet juice is rich in nutrients, in B vitamins and in iron, and we're going to add beef stock to give richness and fire roasted organic tomatoes to give sweetness and depth to the soup. What I like to do is make sure that the flavors come together and that the beets are soft. And we're going to add those next. Now I have a pot of soup that I've already simmered and I can add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and salt to. I've cooled it because classically borscht is served cold. Now why apple cider vinegar? Because it's a little sweet and it has a nice tang. And all vinegar lowers the rise of blood sugar after eating a high carb meal, which is especially important if you have diabetes or prediabetes or metabolic syndrome. And of course, a little salt. I'm using kosher salt, but you can use sea salt if you like, or even regular iodized salt. Now we're just about ready to finish. Our borscht, remember, is cold has about 130 calories for one and a half cups. It's low fat and low carb, and it's delicious. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of sour cream for calcium and for richness, and a little bit of our food as medicine ingredient, fresh dill. It protects against free radicals and carcinogens, and dill can also help neutralize bacteria. Not that you'll need it after eating the soup. It's a one pot, richly flavored soup that is a guaranteed crowd pleaser. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma.